Agent 47 and Diana Burnwood are the world's top assassins working for the ICA. Unknowingly, they have been hired by a shadow client to target a number of operatives of Providence, a secret organization working in the highest echelons of power. Providence's controller, the Constant, approaches Diana and makes her a deal. Eliminate the shadow client and learn about 47's past. But when 47 discovers that the shadow client is Lucas Gray, his lost childhood friend, he and Diana switch sides to fulfill an old pact. Destroy Providence. Together, they manage to capture the Constant, forcing him to reveal the identities of the three Providence partners. Eliminate them, and the war would be over. However, the Constant has an ace up his sleeve. Look closer. In the shadows. Behind the everyday world. Beyond the headlines and the seats of power. A hidden hand. A kind of company known as Providence. To it, we were just assets to use and throw away, to do the unthinkable, the unforgivable, and it never gave us a second thought until now. After decades in the shadows, we are fighting back, me and 47. Much has been lost, but we are closer than ever. We trapped the Constant, Providence's chief controller, and finally learned the names of its three partners. In their downfall, we lay the past to rest. And, just maybe, look towards the future. 37. It's time. Partners are down there. You know, I never planned this far ahead. You never do. I see someone got his memory back. Wait, is that a beacon? <laughs> what the hell? Base. Alexa Carlisle's helicopter just took off. Confirm target locations, over. Diana, what's the status? Right. We have a situation. Carlisle has left the building. And I think I know why. The Constant has escaped. He persuaded one of the sailors into setting him free. And since then, he's been seizing control of Providence assets and resources. I can only assume Carlisle is rushing to contain the damage. If she slips away again... We'll keep track of her. Make sure she doesn't. Meanwhile, the plan stays the same. Your destination is the Scepter, the world's tallest building where the partners are laying low, courtesy of their host, Sheikh Omar Al-Ghazali. Marcus Stuyvesant is fifth generation old money. His family made its fortune in real estate and banking and were at one point the chief landowners in New York. Carl Ingram is a powerful Washington kingmaker whose family grew rich selling gunpowder during the American Civil War and later established a globe-spanning empire in oil, coal, and steel. Both families long since retreated from public view, but their quiet dominance endures to this day. Now, the partners likely suspect that we're coming, so Mr. Gray will infiltrate building controls and disable all electronic doors and elevators. Stuyvesant and Ingram are about to find they have nowhere left to run. Right. 
This is our moment, 47. Providence ruined our lives with the flick of a pen. Today, we return the favor. Happy hunting. Welcome to Dubai, 47. Today is the inauguration of the scepter, and the ceremony is well underway. You will find Marcus Stuyvesant near the building's signature art installation. While a paranoid Carl Ingram has ensconced himself in his penthouse suite, security on highest alert. Mr. Gray is already in position and ready to assist. Good luck, 47. 47. Come in, 47. Do you copy? I'm here. Are you in position? I'm heading towards the point of entry. Good. Get back to me when you're there. Use your camera and scan the lock, will you? I think I can override the window's controls from here. I'm in position. 47, the inauguration is taking place close by. Once you've infiltrated it, get your bearings. I'm sure there must be floor plans somewhere. Understood. We need absolute focus on this one. If Ingram and Stuyvesant are alerted to our presence, we may lose them for good. We are so close, 47. Don't worry. They're not going anywhere. His Royal Highness Omar al Ghazali, I bid you welcome to the Senate.
Listen. I want to talk to the partners directly. Make them understand why all of this is happening. And that terminal gives me an idea. There's a server room near the Sheikh's personal reception. If you can gain access to it, we might be able to recover useful intel from it. We'll have to work together to hack the system, but it's our best shot. It looks like the staff area could provide you with a viable route to the server room. Hello there, sir. There's a keypad lock on the doors to the staff area. One moment. All right, try this. Four, seven, zero, six. There's quite a bit of security here. One moment. You ready for some more fresh air, 47? I cannot believe James called in sick today, of all days. His Highness has everyone working for thousands something you're just gonna walk on all day? Oi, attendant! Hold on a minute. I think I can open that window remotely. Scan the lock with your camera and I'll have a try. Whoa! Stop! What are you doing? Are you trying to die? What the? Die! I got him! He's hurt! Come on, we're not gonna lose this guy! Anyone got a visual? Right there! Right there! We lost track of the bastard. Command, how do you read me? Over. We've got a stone hey, cold killer yeah, here. Yeah, you. He's killing people. Listen, Did anybody know this asshole? What is he, your buddy? Ah, Christ.
Come on, coming. Bring you down. Sheikh Al Ghazali is reaching out to his worldwide network of lawyers and financial contacts, attempting to restore the lost power base of the Providence Partners. If Ingram and Stuyvesant were asked to a meeting, Thinking they'll be told of new developments, I suspect they'd jump at the chance. There's a lounge area at the top of the building. It can be sealed off for private conversations. If we lure the targets there, they'll be trapped. for what's coming now. You'll have some of the most important people in the world out there. Art critics, royalty, politicians, YouTubers, you name it. Everyone's in the building today. So that means... that he entered the building, but he hasn't reported for duty yet. Probably still down at the depot, getting his uniform. I just hope he's got his papers with him. I heard rumors that he used to work for that Dawood Rangan. You know, the Bollywood producer who died? Doesn't sound promising. <laughs> nope, it doesn't. Stuyvesant is expecting a replacement guard. If you can locate him, we should be able to get within strangling distance of the little worm. Look, 
This is gonna make me look really bad. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Don't you worry. A colleague is also out there looking. But this is awful. I mean, I'm in my boxers and you are a woman. Stop. Reporting for duty. About time. Our client has been going out of his mind waiting for you. Do you have the papers? Yes. Good. I'll call him now. How should I address him? It's classified. So, you don't call him anything. But officially, he's just known as codename Pinky. Sir, this is security. Just calling to let you know your new guard has finally arrived. Yes, sir. See you soon. Okay. Wait here. He'll be here shortly. So, how are you finding Dubai? Uh, it's a gold mine for people in our trade. If you threw a rock, you'd hit a rich man in need of a bodyguard. Oh, you're lucky. His Royal Highness pays better than most. Yeah, you'd be surprised how stingy the rich can be, expecting you to take a bullet for them. I am sure I can handle it. That's the right attitude. You'll fit in fine here. Okay, you must be my new escort. Right there. That's Marcus Stuyvesant, Providence partner, self-entitled and arrogant little worm. He might not look we like much, but he's done more damage to the world than you could dream. Shifting. Okay. Let's see here. Well, you have been around the world. Mumbai, Italy, France, Japan. This is a very impressive CV. I think you'll do. Okay. Walk with me. I need to go through some ground rules. I expect you to be by my side 24-7. Unless I say otherwise. Bathroom breaks are, of course, permitted, but only when I say so. I have a very important, delicate meeting today, in which I expect you to keep your ears closed, but your eyes wide open. Understood? Now, your papers were indeed impressive, but I need to see what you can do with my own eyes. My father used to take me hunting. He was an avid hunter. I personally hated it, but always admired his skill with a knife and grew to appreciate what it takes to gut an animal. Have you ever tried to gut an animal? Yes. Good. Then you know it's not so easy as it looks. Like trying to stab a rubber ball. Bounces back if you don't stab it correctly. You're almost here. You have to understand. I didn't get where I am by blind faith. Okay, we are almost there. You see the shooting targets? Any fool can shoot a target. But with a knife? No. <laughs> That's where the talent lies. My father always used to say, if you are good with a knife, you'll even better with a gun. I want to see your skills. I don't know why, but I've always trusted a man who would throw a knife. <laughs> I'm sure a psychiatrist would have a field day with that statement. So, show me what you got. Do well and you work for me. Fail, you get out of here, and I never want to see your face again. Let's <laughs> just hope he's half as good as you were. Only time will tell. But I doubt it. You cocky idiot. That was quite spectacular. Oh, spot on. That was a magnificent performance. I like you. 
I think we will get along just fine. You've okay. gained his trust. I I got the right man now. What to do Thank with all that power? I'll take the rest of the day off. You deserve it. Thank you, sir. It was an honor. Thank you, sir. You impressed me. You really did. But let's get to work. Some things you should know about me. You got him, 47. Marcus Stuyvesant won't be a problem anymore. Let's move on to Carl Ingram. We're not done yet. This is off limits, sorry. Yeah, you know what's best for you. Get lost. I am good at this. Contact.
abortion. I've been personally invited by the Royal Highness Omar Al Ghazali. I should have clearance. The name is Zaina Kazi. Sir, I understand. But you can't enter without being searched. It's standard procedure. This is ridiculous. Well, that's how it is. Think about it and come back if you want. I'll be waiting upstairs in the reception. Understood? Crystal. Your boss seems pretty interesting. Sorry, sir. Due to heightened security, I can't let you through here. Now move along, please. Please vacate the area. Use of deadly force has been authorized. Please stay back. stairs all the time. Who's going to want to come to a building this tall if they have to walk all the way up? Fitness enthusiasts? Massacre. Oh, they could open up the elevator now. Keep up the good work. Hey, back off. Oh. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Did you do all this? I'm getting really fed up with you. Hey, you. Stop. Swanky place, huh? Oh, yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Something Whoa. really bad is happening. Calm down, calm down. I'll check it out. Someone is being really annoying. Stop that right now. Let go of the body. Understood? Nice and slow, buddy. Hands behind your head. Look at that guy. Be Starting a street fight. No, please, just don't hit me.
wanted to blend in what are you trying to be my mother my god no i need to dress professionally and show my papers do you not understand that okay i'll keep looking thank you <laughs>
silent alarm has been tripped. Security is on its way. Hide, 47. right away. Forty-seven reinforcements are incoming. More guards on their way. Looking good today, sir. Disturbed. You speed it up, and you bring all the glory of the place. You want to do it more? Yeah. Why? I'm just wondering if you got the briefing on the lockdown drill. Our Royal Highness has never complained about it before. I'm sorry, but Mr. Ingram, who is the Royal Highness's guest, has requested no noise of any kind. That's Carl Ingram, Providence partner and brass balled billionaire. A legendary political fixer, Ingram is old money and as rotten as they come. Okay, that's enough for now. Free Excel. Lo and behold, he started to, to gain uh, 
what they call them, scholarships. They're soon to be uh, admitted into, into schools that his parents could not afford, and uh, everyone believed that it was due to his brilliance, but uh, that fate had, had, had dealt him such a generous hand. Now, this was partially true, except fate is not abstract. It's tangible. It's handed to you as a gift. Mount Olympus, if you will. That's enough for now. Sir. Wonder if there are any other blood sucking journalists down there. Definitely not working. Hello. Okay, need a drink. Oh, oh, I think I'm gonna be s sick. Oh, I don't envy you at all. Hmm. Oh, easy now. Don't blow a fuse. You need to change your grollies after that.
huh? You don't look too good, buddy. We got him, 47. Soon there will be no more Providence. And you need to find an exit. Our business is done here, but it's far from over. Boom, 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 boom. 